Hey, let's make Taylor Swift cookies. This cookie recipe comes straight from Taylor herself. It's a delicious Thai cookie with an eggnog icing. Perfect for the holidays, so let's get to it. To get this recipe started, we need to get our paddle attachment attached to our stand mixer. And to that, we're going to throw in a half a stick of unsalted butter. You're going to want to beat this until it becomes nice and fluffy. And you'll see at the end of this uh, that the, the butter actually turns lighter and lighter in color. It's less yellow and more white. So after you have that done, throw in a half a cup of vegetable oil. And this is going to be a process because that butter does not want to incorporate into the oil. But be persistent and scrape that bowl down because the butter is going to want to hide on the bottom of the bowl. So and give it a little encouragement. You'll see here in a minute where I speed up the video clip just to give you an idea of the time it takes to break that butter down to incorporate into all of that oil. Now, the result of this is that you're going to have a super delicious, soft, fluffy cookie, one that is not going to be hard and crunchy. So this is going to be really great. But you'll see here as I have reached the point where I'm satisfied, the butter and the oil have fully combined. Now you're going to add a half a cup of granulated sugar to this and then also a half a cup of powdered sugar. Now I'm taking my time with this because I don't want a powdered sugar cloud flying through my kitchen. So I put a little bit in at a time and I'm running it on slow speed. While the powdered sugar is getting mixed in, I'm going to break one egg into a bowl just to make sure I don't have any shells. Then I'm going to run this mixer to break down the egg fully. And the last wet ingredient I'm going to put in is two teaspoons of really good vanilla. This is very important that you use a good vanilla because it's going to impact the full flavor of this delicious cookie. I'm scraping things down just to make sure I've got everything in check and it looks like a really good homogenous wet mixture. The dry ingredients are two cups of flour, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon salt, and one chai tea bag. You're going to cut that open, sprinkle that in, and enjoy the lovely flavor or smells of spice. It really spices things up. Then you're going to slowly combine or add that dry mixture to your wet mixture on a low speed with your mixer. Now, you, what you want to do is you do want to get everything combined, but don't over mix. So after I've got everything in there, I'm going to take my bowl off of the stand and I'm going to finish off mixing this by hand just until I get all of those dry ingredients combined into the dough. Now, after you have your dough all fully combined, there's no more dry spots in that, cover it with some saran wrap and bring this to the refrigerator and let it chill for an hour. After you've chilled for an hour, set your oven to 350 degrees and you're ready to scoop these out onto parchment lined baking sheets. Then place them in the oven. You're going to bake these for about nine minutes. Now, please don't over bake them, but whenever they do come out, they'll look something like this. And they're going to continue to cook on the warm cookie sheets that you have. So don't be concerned that they're not going to be done. They're going to be a very lightly colored cookie and they're so tender and so light. It's really awesome. But let's make an icing for this. What we're going to do is we're going to put in a cup of powdered sugar, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're going to add to that the magic ingredient, which is eggnog. We're going to throw three tablespoons of eggnog into this icing mixture. Now, if you don't have eggnog, whole milk will be sufficient. That's fine. But when I was mixing this together, I was like, it's never going to come together. It's going to be so thick. It's going to be so thick. And yes, it's thick but this is a very good consistency for an icing. So what I did was I took little dollops and I placed them in the center of each cookie and I carefully smeared the cookie with the icing mixture and making sure not to break the cookie because they are fairly tender. And once you have this done, let the cookies sit with their icing on it and you'll find that the icing will start to harden. It's not gonna be rock hard, but it will uh, get a little bit more solid on the top. And here's what we have at the end. It's a delicious, iced, spicy, very easy cookie to make. I know Taylor Swift won't let me down. So let's give this cookie a try. Let's see what we've got here. I can't wait. <laughs> My mouth is watering.
This cookie is light and tender and just perfectly sweet. And the chai tea adds that lovely spice flavor. The beautiful thing about this cookie is not only the taste because it is super delicious, but I think the process is something that the kids can get involved in and y'all could have maybe a Taylor Swift night, get all the Swifties together and make a lovely batch of these delicious cookies. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, check out some of my other cookies I have on my cookies playlist. I'll see you next time. This is delicious. You cannot go wrong with this recipe. This is amazing. Well, it really is.